Richard Nixon, who quit his presidency 35 years ago this August, once said, a man isn't finished when he's defeated, he's finished when he quits. We'll have to wait and see if that holds true for Sarah Palin. In our number one story on the countdown, with a new poll showing Palin's popularity plummeting, Alaskans get ready to say farewell to Miss Wasilla 1984. Still, Governor Palin is to officially resign her post at a picnic in Fairbanks on Sunday, transferring power to Lieutenant Governor Sean Parnell. Today, Palin Max marks her last working day in office with a picnic in her hometown of Wasilla, with another one tomorrow in Anchorage. The Russians might breathe e easier, but the salmon surely won't. Palin quit on July 3rd because of what she called the politics of personal destruction aimed at her and her family, including numerous ethics complaints and mounting legal bills. Just three days ago, an independent investigator said that a trust fund created to pay those legal bills may itself violate Alaska's ethics laws. Meanwhile, a new Washington Post ABC News poll shows a complete turnaround in the way Americans look at the governor, with just 40% viewing her favorably, down a whopping 28% from 10 months ago. Also, just 40% of Americans think she's a strong leader, and only 37% think she understands complex issues. But the poll might contain some good news, at least for the governor's political ambitions. With 70% of her party viewing her favorably, she ranks third among Republicans in their pick for tw the 2012 presidential nomination, just behind Mike Huckabee and Mitt Romney. Let's bring in MSNBC political analyst and Huffington Post contributor Lawrence O'Donnell. Thanks for being us with, with us, Lawrence. Good to be here, Richard. This new poll shows a huge drop in her popularity, but she's obviously still a force in the GOP. Would the party really nominate someone with those kinds of numbers? No, I don't think there's any chance. Remember, those numbers exist in a pre-campaign mode. Uh, we haven't seen Romney campaign against her. We haven't seen Tim Pawlenty campaign against her. It will be very easy to drive her numbers into much more negative territory by putting her in a presidential primary campaign, which I hope she joins. It would be a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, she would be up there on the panel with seasoned and experienced debaters, and, including Huckabee, who I think would run rings around her. Uh, and and I think she'd be in trouble very quickly. Yeah, it'd be fun for us, maybe not so much for her consultants and advisors, but right. some poll numbers also stand out here. 52% uh, of Americans feel she's honest, 48% she say she uh, shares our values, and 47% she say she understands their problems. Did these numbers make up for all the negatives? I mean, is there some reason to hope there? Well, there's something to build on there. I mean, what those numbers say is people, when you talk about her as a person, people like her better. They're more drawn to her as a person than they are to her as someone who can govern. And her numbers on competence and ability to govern are very low. And that's the big problem now, you know, in leaving office is that exactly how is she going to demonstrate the competence that America doesn't believe she has if she doesn't have a state budget to manage anymore? There are some other numbers that are important here, because on one hand, she's polarizing, seems to have no ability to grow the party, and on the other hand, she's a big-time money raiser. So what do the party leaders actually do with her? Well, we've seen this before. We've seen people who are very popular within the party, not popular outside the party, and those people are used for fundraising. You know, you bring them in, and uh, hopefully with as few cameras around as possible, and they raise money for you. So uh, she'll always have that role, presumably, and uh, until the novelty wears off, there's a certain point in time where, you know, it's not going to be all that much fun to pay $2,000 to meet Sarah Palin. But for a while, it will work. Uh, Dick Cheney is a hockey mom, maybe. Um, so Palin has threatened to unleash her true self on Twitter when she's no longer governor. What do you expect of her liberated tweets? Oh, I can't wait. Uh, the, the, uh, the tweets so far have been uh, pretty strange, and uh, I just wish Twitter didn't have such a limited uh, word count and character count, so she could really let herself go on Twitter. Uh, she has promised that, that the first day out of office, suddenly, suddenly the tweets are going to be, I guess, honest uh, for the first time. Uh, we'll see. She's really, uh, she's got a lot to live up to in her promises about Twitter. Right, putting the twit back in Twitter. Uh, what do you right. make of all those um, screen indoor parties they're having in Alaska this weekend. Are these happy days in Anchorage? Well, you know, the screen door phenomenon is, uh, you know, get out before the screen door hits you in the back. There's a, there's a, there's a real negative. Her negatives have been uh, run up very, very high uh, compared to where they were in Alaska. Alaskans didn't like a lot of the attention. I mean, you don't move to Alaska to get a, to draw attention to yourself. And so uh, they, they're, they're, Alaskans seem like they're going to be very, very happy to watch the national media take their cameras and go home or take their cameras and follow Sarah Palin on either the campaign 
trail or the fundraising trail or the book tour trail. And I think Alaskans are going to be very happy that, that that trail is not in Alaska, but somewhere down there in the lower 48. And just briefly, if Alaska uh, loses Palin and Palin uh, flames out, is there someone else who would take up the mantle that she represents? Well, she's in that Pat Buchanan section of Republicanism, that pitchfork brigade, that angry uh, working class, so they would say, uh, section of Republicanism. And it is not immediately clear who that is. I mean, Huckabee is the person who lives closest to it, but he doesn't pander to it as much as uh, Palin does. Romney clearly is not that. The, the guy is a, is a multi-millionaire. Uh, Tim Pawlenty is not that from Minnesota, a uh, perfectly reasonable Republican man of government. And so uh, it's it's, it's, it really looks like that's her zone. If she can command that zone, then she has a base in the party. Lawrence O'Donnell of the Huffington Post and MSNBC. Have a great weekend. That will do it Thanks for this Rich. Friday edition of Countdown. I'm Richard Wolf in for Keith Olbermann. Have a great weekend. Yeah.